Hey, and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a quadded sphere inside of Autodesk Maya. A lot of the time people opt to use a UV sphere, but when you subdivide it, often you can end up with some pinching. Another method of creating a sphere and the reason why you're here is to use a quadded sphere. And it's really rather simple to create. To start with, you're going to want to draw out a cube shape. Doesn't really matter about the size or anything. Using shift and the right mouse button, you can then go down to smooth. Let's just subdivide this mesh and give it around two subdivisions. So this gets us like 95% of the way there, but you may be able to notice it's a little deformed and not really 100% round. So to make it round, there are a couple of options. We could go ahead and transfer the vertex positions from a UV sphere onto this mesh, but I personally find it easier just to apply the Sculpt Deformer. You just need to go into the Deform menu up here, down to Sculpt, and it doesn't appear to have done anything just yet, but if you have a look inside the sphere, you'll see you get this little gimbal, which if we go ahead and select, we can just uh, scale it up and what this will do is push all the points out and inflate it into a sort of a round sphere, exactly how we want it. If we just move this mesh around, you'll notice we're going to want to freeze history, which is just going to set everything in stone. Perfect. And it's really that simple. I mean, there's really not much to it at all. But say you didn't want to do these steps every time you wanted a quadded sphere, we can actually make a shelf icon which we can click every time we need the shape. So if you want to do this, go ahead and export this mesh. I'm just going to save mine as an FBX, but it really doesn't matter. And you're going to want to save it somewhere where it can permanently live. For example, in an asset library. As for the next step to work, this directory really needs to stay the same. Let's go ahead and just import the file we saved. Just go ahead and open up the script editor now. And what we need is this mel command for the import. So it's this line here. Select it all and what we can actually do is middle mouse, just drag it up to our shelf. And now whenever we click this button, it's going to import the quarter sphere. Something to note, and I'm not entirely sure why it does this, but before you add another quad sphere, by clicking the button, you're just going to want to rename the already existing one within the outliner or else it just won't work. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider hitting this like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.